just filmed this foundation routine video. This is kind of just how I do my everyday um, foundation. And in the video, you're going to see me with no makeup, obviously, um, my natural face. And then I'm going to show you how I kind of cover up my acne and, you know, enhance, like, my natural features. And also cover up, like, my dark spots. Because dark spots are just not attractive and your under eye circles, um, I just don't like them. And I have really big under eye circles because I'm always working and I don't get enough sleep and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. The story goes on, but um, yeah, this is just kind of how I do my everyday face. So if you are interested, please keep on watching and have a great day. Bye, everyone. So you guys typically aren't used to seeing me without any makeup, but this is how I look with no makeup on my face. All I have on is my Lubriderm Unscented Moisturizer. Looks like that. And literally, this does not break me out at all. It moisturizes my face all day and it doesn't make me oily during the day, which is what I really like. And this thing only costs $4. This lasts me like months. First thing I'm gonna start off by doing is using my MAC Matte Primer. And I'm just going to start where my pores are the biggest, which is kind of right around my cheek and nose area. And then I'll work it down in other areas, kind of just like randomly. So kind of go where you kind of need priming to fill in those gaps, lines, or pores. And then I'll take whatever's left over and just put it under my eyes and on top of my lids. And then I'm going to use the Garnier Fructis Skin Renew um, Concealer, anti-dark, uh, what is this, anti-dark circle roller. And I don't know what shade this is, but as you can see, it's really, really light for my under eye area. And as that kind of like warms up on my face, I'm going to be using this Kat Von D concealer in the shade Tan. And it's her tattoo concealer. I really, really like this stuff. So I just take about that much and apply it right onto the back of my hand. Now, using one of my favorite brushes of all time is this crown brush, and it is a crease brush, and it's also, um, I use it as like a concealer brush. left over and then just use that on any kind of scars now I have a lot of acne scarring um, thank God I kind of got rid of most of my acne so I'm really happy about that I just have to deal with all the scars now the next step is I'm going to use one of my favorite foundations of all time and it is the NARS um, sheer glow foundation so there we go that's my shade, so all you want to do is just shake up the product and then you're going to take about a dime size amount and apply it right onto the back of your hand. Now I'm going to be taking a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush and this is one of my favorite foundation brushes. It just really buffs in the product, so I just kind of like stipple it onto the brush and then I'm always going to start with my cheek area, like so. Just because that's where most of my scarring is and that's where I kind of feel that I need the most coverage. the 
it all looks pretty much flawless. I love the finish that this brush gives me and mixed with the uh, Narshir Glow Foundation, I find that it's like the perfect match for each other. And I also really like the Makeup Forever HD Foundation with this brush. And then just go over your eyes where you've applied the concealer to make sure it's all blended in and there's no harsh lines. And sometimes I just like to pat right under my under eye area. So now that that's all blended in, the next step is to take a powder. And I'm using the CoverGirl um, pressed powder in Soft Honey. And I did a review on this, so it looks like that. And I'm just gonna be taking a MAC 134 fluffy brush. Now once you've finished applying the pressed powder onto your face, all you're going to do is now apply it right down your neck so that everything kind of matches. And now the next step is to take one of your favorite bronzers. This is my NARS Irresistible Mint Bronzer and I absolutely love this bronzer to death. It is my favorite bronzer and I'm always going to repurchase this one. And I'm using a Sephora Professional um, powder brush. So I'm just swirling some product right on top of any excess and make a little bit of a fish face to apply it right into the hollows of your cheek. Now, you can go ahead and also apply that bronzer right onto your temples and forehead. Just do a light dusting, a light, light sweep, and then get your nose. and also your neck. And the next step is to take one of your favorite blushes and I am using the NARS blush in the shade Tor. It's more of like a peachy color with gold um, shimmers to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. It looks like that. And I'm just gonna kind of like stipple it right onto my face. And then I'm going to start blending it in. And then the next step is to take your favorite highlighter. I am using Hard Candy in just right above my cheekbone. And underneath my eye as well. That is pretty much my foundation routine for every day. Let's zoom out. Um, so that is how I get my face the way I get my face in some of my videos. Some of you guys ask me um, what foundation I use and whatever. But sometimes I do use my CoverGirl foundation, the liquid one. But I just kind of pulled out my NARS Sheer Glow and I fell in love with it all over again. So yeah, that is the foundation routine and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye everyone.